Yes, so now maybe Saturn and Moon we can discuss. Okay. Um, Saturn Moon is a, again is a really tough one too. Um, Saturn Moon persons have been starved when it comes to just getting the care and nurturing a person needs. So usually these people have very unhappy stories to tell about their childhood. Um, ill parents, unavailable parents, dead parents. Um, the most severe one I ever saw was happening in the 12th house where the person was actually kidnapped at the age of one and molested sexually. Okay, so this is a serious lack of care. So when a Saturn sun, Saturn moon conjunction, the person gets a serious lack of care and nourishment growing up. And oftentimes it, it starts right at the very beginning of their lives. It can happen the day they're born, or their uh, parent might die, um, mother might leave them, they may be put up for adoption. There's just some serious lack of care. So these people are just literally starved on an emotional level. And I would say the Saturn moon conjunction is the most painful conjunction you're gonna find of any planetary conjunction out there. Um, very emotionally starved people, as a result of being emotionally starved, they usually, depending on the strength of Saturn in, in other respects, they usually just start bottling up their emotions and they can get really strong and determined and just do what they have to do. But they won't, really won't begin a lot of emotional satisfaction out of what they do because they're just emotionally become, can become very cut off people. Um, just the hardships in life that they experience at a very young age just force them to say, okay, it's time to do what I have to do, not what I feel like doing. So these people really need to learn to get in touch with their feelings and start making choices based on what would make them feel good and, um, and be more fulfilling on an emotional level rather than on a survival level. I've seen several um, women with this combination, for instance, who at a very young age, you know, 12 or 13, were, starting to, were taking care of themselves, you know, who literally were making money, not just to buy, you know, fun things, but to survive because they just didn't have the care and nurturing they needed. Um, and without that care and nurturing, a person becomes emotionally starved, you know, because when you get taken care of in a nice way by your parents, it's a very emotionally fulfilling experience. It makes a person feel important emotionally. It makes them feel like their needs and emotions are important. The Saturn moon person doesn't get any of that. So they end up really being starved emotionally. And when they're starved emotionally, that can lead to all kinds of problems, depending on the severe, on what's going on in the chart. In a really good chart, in a strong chart with healthy lagna, good yogas, um, the person will just decide to rise above all their emotional grief. And they'll go out and they'll be a wonderful person. They'll do a lot of amazing things. But underneath all that will be a deep suffering that they still have to worry, work out. In a really afflicted chart, in a trouble chart, a person, you know, and will want to basically with a Saturn moon conjunction, the person struggles to deal with the emotional um, backlog of their early lives because there's just there's a lot of emotional pain that's been built up. And they usually life never gives them the break to catch up to their emotional pain to process it and catch up. So in a powerful chart, they'll become a workaholic, a super successful person. So they'll run from their emotions by doing great things. They might help people, but they're running from their feelings, which are too painful to deal with, it seems. In an afflicted chart, the person can run to sexual addictions, to um, drug addictions, to all kinds of other places. But there's a desire to escape the pain of their emotions, um, which were never really properly given to um, from the day they were born. Ultimately, they have to learn to stay with their emotions, feel their way through their own personal abyss and darkness, and work through all their emotionally painful feelings and come to terms with that. They have a real sense of lack of self. They really literally feel like they're just not worth being taken care of. And if you meet a person like this and you give to them, they're going to do one of two things. In a healthy chart, in a stronger chart, when you give to them, you actually start providing or taking care of them or cherishing them in any way, it, they'll, they'll become very sad and they'll cry and they'll have this huge emotional even breakdown that somebody actually cares enough to do something nice for them can really just shock their whole system. In a bad chart, what happens is they will just shut down emotionally. So they'll, um, you know, they're literally just shut down emotionally. So, um, 
you know, so for example, if I've seen it where women have met a guy who wants to marry them and the minute he tells them how much she loves her, they just want to, the woman just leaves. She just packs up and is gone the next morning, literally just leaves because emotionally she just can't handle anyone caring about her because she's not used to it. And anyone caring about her brings up all these horrible feelings of their early lives on an unconscious level that they just can't be loved anymore. But in a healthy chart, a person will struggle to try to be loved when the opportunity is there, but they'll be scared and they'll really hardly believe it's possible. And they'll always believe that at any minute the rug can be ripped out from under them. I, the most in, interesting example I saw of a Saturn moon conjunction was in the seventh house in a woman's chart who I was engaged to a billionaire who bought her everything. Now, you don't ever have to work. Here's a new house. Here's everything you wanted. And just like in a movie, she ran away from the altar. She left him at the altar and ran. You know, And so you will um, see that level of fear of anything nice happening to the person. Um, I also, I've seen several women with the Saturn moon conjunction do that. It's a much more painful thing in a woman's chart because the moon has to do with our feminine side. So it affects women more strongly. So particularly in a woman's chart, it's very hard for them to be given love, care and affection in any genuine way. It's a lot easier for them to just, you know, have sex that doesn't matter than it is to be truly loved by somebody. Um, usually women with the Saturn moon conjunction will want to have sex really early because it's, it's almost a way to escape more intimate feelings. That can be very scary for a Saturn moon conjunction to experience. Um, but once after they have sexual relationships, they usually become more emotionally out of sorts and end up sabotaging their relationship. Like I said, running away from the altar is just one way. Another way is to jump in bed with, you know, somebody else the next day. So that's in a difficult chart, examine the whole chart. I've seen charts with Saturn moon conjunctions of women who have, were really neglected growing up, but who managed to hold it themselves together and not get into addictions, including sexual addiction. So none of that. Um, in, a, in a good chart, you can expect that. And you'll expect the person who just tries to work on themselves, although they're suffering very deep, on a very deep level. On a man's chart, a Saturn moon conjunction is very different. A Saturn moon conjunction man has a much easier time cutting his feelings off than a woman because men in general aren't as in touch with their feelings as a woman is. So um, the Saturn moon man decides to not be too concerned about feelings. The big problem with that is as a result, he ends up not really caring about women that much. They might want women and they will want women, but they won't really know how to care about a woman. They won't be a good partner. They won't be a good husband because they won't have the sensitivity to relate to the woman on an emotional level. And so, um, and they themselves, of course, are going to miss out on a huge, possibly beautiful emotional experience because they themselves are emotionally cut off. So Saturn moon people more than anything needs to get in touch with their emotional needs and start doing things because it's going to be emotionally fulfilling. And until they do that, everything in life ends up being painful. That's the thing about the moon. We experience everything through our moon. If we have a promotion, we experience that through our moon. If we fall in love or have children, we experience that through our moon. If we get a raise, we experience that with our moon. Everything we do, we experience through our moon. So if the moon starred by Saturn, everything we experience has a shadow over it a negative connotation, an element of pain. And so um, these people have a lot of emotional growth to make, have to really, they do need to go to the psychologist, they, need to, they do need to go to an astrologer who knows psychology, they do need to go somewhere and get help and come to terms with their emotional, um, you know, their emotional grief, basically, because they have a lot of emotional grief. And the tendency is to say, well, growing up, there was no way to, become emotionally fulfilled. So what did they do? They just learned to do the next best thing, which is do whatever they could do to survive. But eventually they have to go back and catch up on themselves emotionally. So it takes a lot of maturity for them to do that. And I've seen people with Saturn moon, I've seen men who never were able to get along with the woman and women who never allowed themselves to be loved who had Saturn moon conjunctions. It's a very painful thing. But it does get better with age. And in a good chart, I have seen people grow through it. 
um, almost always in good charts. They do it through a lot of spiritual efforts. Um, in charts of um, spiritually centered people, all that pain of Saturn Moon gives them a lot of motivation to focus on their spiritual life. So that's the one good thing about it. But it's very, very painful starvation because all things in life can feel a lack. Everything you experience in life can feel a lack to it, like something's missing until a person reconnects to themselves emotionally because literally a part of the person is not connected emotionally to themselves because they suffered enough grief and pain. They had to separate themselves from that to continue to survive, to continue to move forward in life and at a very young age usually. So basically what I've understood is like in my experience, even I've seen charts where I've seen that this is a bit more difficult than even Sun and Saturn being conjunct, I think. Oh yeah, it's the most painful. It's the most difficult. Yes, and similar things I've seen uh, if Saturn is in the fourth house, even in that case I have seen because it's like yeah. Moon is the Karaka for the fourth house. Yeah, Saturn fourth is very painful, especially in a woman's chart and it has similar connotations, you bet. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we will now go to the other planets and we'll upload this in the next part, okay? Thank you very much. Stay tuned.